Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to create and use BARD agents. Are you watching the right video? Well, do you use BARD? Would you like to save time? Would you like to improve your BARD prompts? Then yes. Questions answered in today's video. BARD agents. What are they? How do you use them? And how do you create them? We're also going to go over some, hopefully, really good examples to help solidify your understanding. And at the end of it all, we'll end with the very most important question, why should you care? Let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are at BARD, and you're asking again, Josh, what is an agent? An agent is simply a pinned conversation. So just the facts right over here, pin, pin, there you go. It's a pinned conversation or a prompt template or a pre-prompted or programmed chat bot or simply agents. All right, so that's the what, a little bit of the why. We use these because we can reuse them, refine them for superior results. <laughs> Stay with me. All right, so that's the, the what, a little bit of the why. How do we use these things? So I've got the just the facts agent <laughs> uh, that we're gonna use here. This is my anti-hallucinogen agent that I like to use when I'm just looking for the facts. I have given this agent some specific instructions that are hopefully gonna help reduce or eliminate any hallucinations that Bard might like to come up for us, come up with for us. All right, instructions, triple hashtags. So that's from some of the current prompting literature. Uh, it may help, maybe it doesn't, uh, it does help with longer prompts to break up instructions from roll and other things that you'll see in some of my other prompts. In any event, just roll with it. So you must treat me as an expert in all subject matter. I'm gonna read through the instructions that we've given Bard here. Any claims, opinions, or figures that you cite in your responses must be cited with reference to an authentic and published source. You must you include, you must include URLs whenever possible. And I'm gonna pause for a second here. Two things I wanna highlight, the word must also coming from some of the current prompt literature, don't use please, do use must, or your role. And then of course, there's the other stuff out there talking about, you know, tip for good answers. Uh, I'll tip $500. I don't include those here, uh, but give those a shot as well. Finally, all the prompts that I'm gonna show you and some that I'm not gonna show you are included in the Google Doc that I started this video out with that is also gonna be linked in the video description below. Uh, so no need to pause and write any of this down in case some of these are prompts that you might like to use. All right. That said, we'll continue reading through our Just the Facts programming or pre-prompting instructions that we're giving our agent here. You must be accurate and thorough. Mistakes erode my trust. You must never make up any sources of your own. You must, if you are unsure about a source, you must say that you don't know. You must never say that you're an AI model since I already know that. Not necessarily related to just the facts, but sometimes you just get hired, <laughs> tired of hearing Bard tell you that he's just an AI model and can't do that. All right, you must follow my instructions strictly. You may use high levels of speculation or prediction, just flag it for me. And if the quality of your response has been substantially reduced due to my instructions, you must explain the issue. Let me know when you're ready for my first question. And as you can see here, Bard is standing by for our just the facts question. Uh, so the example I'm going to use for you is a question that we wouldn't want any speculation or creative creativity on. Uh, explain the controversy behind the Boeing 737 MAX. And as you know, tragic accident, two airliners went down because of the MCAS system. And we can see here that BARD is hopefully giving us just the facts. Not going to read all this for this video, uh, but you can see down here some good URLs from the FAA. Uh, NTSB, New York Times, Reuters, etc. So just the facts as we asked for them and Bard provided. Thank you, Bard. And now uh, we've, we've of course pinned this. Anytime we want just the facts, we just come here and ask a question. Because these instructions that we included up here will always be included or considered in any con in any of this conversation. So as long as we come back to this conversation, Bard is going to be giving us answers based on these original instructions. 
because when Bard creates new responses, he's always going to go back and reread the entire conversation, and he's going to come upon these instructions. That's that's kind of how it works. Um, that's the Josh level explanation. All right, so how do you create one of these in case you didn't catch the pin at the beginning and you want a little bit more information? So we're going to start a new chat. So Bard is not regurgitating any old instructions. We've got this new chat ready. Of course, got some instructions teed up for us. We're going to call this our Simply Explained agent. Uh, here's the instructions, triple hashtags, like I, like I explained before. All right, this is the Feynman technique. Uh, your role is to explain, again, your role, right? Letting Bard know. Um, your role is to explain complex topics to me as if I was 12 years old. Use stories, analogies, or metaphors to simplify complex ideas. Uh, these are always very helpful when trying to learn something new and complex. I will present topics for you to explain in triple quotes. This is new here. Triple quotes, again from the literature, prompting literature, and also it makes it clear to Bard, hey, this is that thing that I was, that I was asking you to explain. And I say that because we can also have a conversation with Bard, but we want Bard to understand, no, 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 this is something now that I need you to tell me about, and we're not, we're not conversing. This is a topic. I need it explained. So the triple quotes help flag that for Bard. All right. Let me know when you're ready for the first topic. So we're going to go ahead and click the Enter button. And Bard, hopefully, is going to tell us that he is ready. He is. Very good. I'm going to pause now before we actually give Bard a question and show you how we create the agent. So you can see here down in our recent conversation, uh, explain complex complexity to a 12-year-old. That's a decent title, but not the one that we're going to use. I'm going to call this the simply explained agent. Uh, then what's really helpful over here is the emoji. Um, of course, our eyeballs see color and images quicker than we can read, read, read words. That's why stop signs and stop lights. Um, so for this simply explained emoji, uh, I'm going to pick the teacher, rename, and there it is. So there's our agent. The last thing we got to do is pin it. And now our agent is pinned at the top. And you can see there's a couple more agents that you don't see there. Uh, so to show you how it works, uh, we're going to pick a complex topic. And we're going to put it in triple quotes, as you see there. Let's Bard know this is the thing. Uh, hit the enter key, and Bard's going to do his or her thing. Ah, CRISPR. It's a fascinating one. Giant library. So starting off with an analogy and then hopefully explaining this at a very simple level, uh, Bard is generally pretty successful at following instructions. Just for fun, we'll go ahead and do one more complex topic. And... Uh, Triple quotes, as I mentioned before, and Bard will immediately understand, hey, this is the thing I need to explain to you. Buckle up. I see Willy Wonka definitely running with the same same instruction. Nice try, buddy, in any event. Uh, so we've got, there's our simply explained agent. I'm going to use, I'm going to show you one more example before we pivot to my personal account and talk about extensions. Uh, so this is the outline feedback. Uh, so what I want Bard to do is take a look at my video outline and tell me how I did. And what you see here in the instructions section is just me telling Bard to take on the, take on the persona of an efficiency-focused productivity expert and enthusiast who, through the creation of YouTube videos, enjoys teaching others how to employ simple technology processes and habits to maximize efficiency and effectiveness and to make life a little or a lot easier whenever possible. Your videos focus on helping people use technology and processes to complete knowledge work-related tasks in the most efficient manner. All right, sorry about all that. Wanted to make sure you caught kind of the first gist. Uh, and then here's the structure of the video script. So what is it? How does it work? And the so what? As, you're, as you may or may not be familiar. And then your role. So I called out earlier the instructions in triple hashtags. And this one now, your role. So we're delineating two separate pieces of instruction or programming or pre-prompting for the agent. So your role is to provide feedback on each outline that I provide, beginning and ending in triple quotes. Again, here's what I want you to not, here's what I want you to oh, <laughs> analyze. Um, not any of our conversation. I don't want you to give me feedback in our conversation, or I don't want you to think this outline that I'm giving you is part of our conversation. So those triple quotes, very helpful. Uh, again, you must, the use of the word must in all caps, again from the literature, you must highlight what could be improved and uh, what was overlooked. You must provide analogies or examples to add. 
So help me make this better uh, to make the video easier to understand or such that it resonates with viewers. And let me know when you're ready to begin. Bard is ready to begin. All right, so I've taken this outline right here and I've gone ahead and enclosed it in the uh, triple quotes that I keep talking about that you're at this point you're very familiar with and understand. Uh, you can see there it ends with it and you can see here that it begins with it. And we'll go ahead and hit the enter key and Bard should give us some feedback on the outline video that we just, there we go. Strengths, thank you. Areas for improvement. So didn't, didn't use weaknesses. Thanks Bard, appreciate the kind language and additional suggestions. So there you go. These are some examples from my business professional Google account. Now we're going to pivot to my personal account because I want to use extensions. And before we pivot, I want to highlight extensions must be enabled. And I did make a video explaining how to do that. And that's linked in the video description below. Check it out if you haven't already. So let's jump over into personal and you can see there the, uh, the avatar up top changed. I'm in my personal account now and you can see right here that the extensions, I was trying to click the puzzle piece up there, but you can see that. So here we go. I've got a flight locator here and this is going to be more of a template example. I talked before about uh, pre-prompting and templates and so this is going to be a template example. So what I've got here is just like before information flight criteria and requirement. And then in this agent or template, uh, all I, this helps me find flights using Google, the Google flights extension through BARD. So BARD's going to connect to Google flights and it's going to give me the flight based on the information and criteria that I've given it. What I've done is I've in all caps made it clear to myself where I need to replace old information with new information. Cause I'm going to reuse this thing over and over again. So I just need to, my eyeballs need to quickly see where I need to go and replace information. Uh, so the origin, if I need to change that, uh, for example, this time I want to go to, uh, LAX specifically, not the greater Los Angeles area. So please don't take me to the Burbank airport. Uh, the dates 1822 January, that'll work. Uh, my schedule is not flexible. I could delete the word not if my schedule was flexible, but it's not. So we're going to leave it. Flight criteria, uh, routing, who doesn't want direct flights? <laughs> so there's the first one, origin departure time. And since I've written this all out and I'm going to use it over and over again, I've taken the time to write 24 hour clock. So now I just write after 08 instead of after 8 AM. Uh, just those little slivers of time saving throughout, right? Uh, destination departure time after 12, because if you're on vacation, why would you get up early to leave and come back home? Uh, and finally, price, the least expensive option, because of course, that's the right thing to include as the uh, last requirement there. All right. Uh, okay. So your role, Bard, is to use the information and flight criteria to find the best available flight options. If you're unable to find a flight that meets the flight criteria, you must flag me and explain why. So what I've done is I've clicked the pencil up here. I've edited this template with new information and now I'm going to click the update button and we will get an updated. You see Bard's going to start reaching out to Google flights there. There you go. You get the, the little figure eights and Bard has given me the best option. There we go. We can click on that and Google flights will open up and we can start booking our flight. Uh, so that's, flight locator. The second example I'm going to show you is the world's best coffee. Um, so you can see the instructions that I've already, already given Bard here, the instructions right here. I will provide you with the name of a city in triple quotes. So Josh, why are you, why are you using this? Let's say I travel all over the place and every time I land somewhere, I want to know where like, the three best coffee joints are. Uh, so with this Bard agent and my phone, and let's pause for a minute and talk about my phone. So Bard does not have an app, but it's very easy to create a link or a Chrome shortcut or a browser shortcut on your phone's desktop. And so all you need to do is create a shortcut to Bard on your phone's desktop and you can launch Bard and it operates just like an app. And if what I just shared with you, you're like, what? <laughs> Let me know and I will create my first reel to explain or show how to create a desktop to a Chrome link or URL or website on your phone's desktop. 
All right, so with that, I get off the plane, I open Bard on my phone, I click on the world's best coffee agent, it opens up, and you can see here, the rest of the instructions are pretty straightforward. Your role is to analyze the area named in triple quotes and respond with at Google Maps results for the top three coffee shops with at least 100 reviews. And remember, this is gonna reach out and talk to Google Maps because that's what extensions do. Uh, let me know when you're ready. Bard has told us he is ready. And so let's pretend that I land uh, in my old hometown of Niceville, Florida. Nice folks, nice town, nice folks. Y'all have a nice day. Uh, and I drop it in in triple quotes. We're not talking Bard. I need you to give me some information. You see the figure eights happening with Google Maps, so we know we're going to get some good results. Black Rifle Coffee Company, Coffee Shoppy, <laughs> uh, which is kind of like a Waffle House. Uh, and Starbucks. So some varied results there, but we can see the 4.6, 4.5, and 4.2 star ratings. So we know BARD is giving us some good answers. Uh, and as you've seen with extensions, we can come down here and we can zoom in. Good old Boggy Bayou and Valparaiso. All right. Those were the examples that I wanted to share with you. And again, uh, why do we use BARD agents? Uh, as I said in the beginning, I would, I would give you that answer. So, or why should you care? So let's do that. Why should you use BART agents? Save time by streamlining your chat bot interactions and reusing and refining your most often used prompts to get superior results. So anytime you find yourself rewriting a prompt you've written at least once before, or you find yourself taking the time to craft a really great prompt, pause, pin it. It's like a bridge. Build it once, benefit forever. All right, thank you for watching. If I have inspired you to try a BARD agent, please let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget, lots of link goodness below. This Google Doc with all the prompts and some other goodness Please like, subscribe, and share this with someone else that might like it. And as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.